Hi everyone, happy Sunday to you all. It's a beautiful Sunday uh, and it's sunny today and we have in-person church today. Uh, it'll be only me going to church, uh, so I'm all dressed up. Hosanna and the kids will be home yeah. because today is the first day after a long time we are getting uh, in-person and uh, next week hopefully all of us, the whole family can go. So just want to give thanks to God because God has been so good, so good. There has been a song in my heart uh, because God has been good to us. And um, as all of you know, my son's procedure really went well and uh, he's recovering well. And he, we all came yesterday, both of us came home yesterday in the morning and we rested yesterday. And uh, so I just want to show you the the procedure that was done it's in t inside his valve uh, uh, a metal mesh uh, conduit was impl implanted there and it's going to help with his oxygen flow and blood flow to his lungs his arteries to his heart um, so everything is going to go well and God has been good God has uh, chosen Jason to get this procedure done because he was supposed to get an open heart surgery but we thank God that it wasn't an open heart it through his growing that they did and um, we came home in one night we only stayed one night and we came home we came home the next day so to God be the glory for great things he has done he is faithful when we trust God and when we follow him wholeheartedly so today's message is really from numbers chapter 14 and it talks about Caleb I can see my my daughter is screaming and shouting because she's enjoying the outdoors finally we can come outdoors um, so for a short time I came to do my devotion because it's so beautiful the surrounding is beautiful and the birds are singing in the air in the trees and it is beautiful every creature every animal is giving glory to God so as humans we have to stand up and give him glory because he deserves all the praise and he expects us to give him glory because we were created for his glory so Numbers chapter 14 verse 24 it says but my servant Caleb has a different attitude than the others have he has remained loyal to me so I will bring him into the land he expects explored his descendants will possess their full share of that land so do you know that Caleb and uh, Joshua they went with the other ten sp uh, spies to the land to the the land that God has promised them and when they entered the land the other ten spies they came back saying oh it is difficult the people are like giants we would never be able to defeat them we would never be able to take hold of the land they forgot that God was with them but Caleb and Joshua they came back and said they Definitely, we will be able to possess this land. God is with us. We will be able to do it. And they had a different heart. It says in this word that Caleb has, has a different attitude than the others. How is your attitude? How is our attitude? Is our attitude different than the others? When there is so much COVID and different situations around, is our attitude better than the others? Is our attitude different than the others? Are we mourning? Are we grumping? Are we uh, complaining? Are we nagging to God? Or are we praising Him? Are we worshipping Him? Are we taking every moment, every situation to give Him glory, honor and praise? So God is looking from heaven and looking to and fro to find people that God can work through and are we ready to to be used by God to display his glory to display his goodness to display his amazing power so God says that he remains loyal to me are we being loyal to God are we remaining to be loyal we were loyal when we accepted him into our heart when we asked Jesus to come into our hearts we we wanted Jesus to be in our heart we wanted to be in in him be be him in him and do to uh, do things through him but are we loyal to him are we loyal to uh, him are we sons and daughters who are loyal to the father God and the next one is God says that I will bring him into land he explored his descendants will possess their full share of the land God promised to Caleb and Joshua because they were faithful they were loyal they followed God wholeheartedly they will process the land their descendants will possess the land if we follow God if we follow God wholeheartedly our children and our children to come our generation and generations to come will inherit the blessing that God has for for us so if you if you worship God wholeheartedly if you are different than the world and you praise God through your difficult situation 
situation you praise and worship God through your difficult situation and you are totally different than the world and you give glory for every single thing and you display the glory of God do you know that your children and your children to come will proclaim God's goodness your children and children to come will inherit the land that God has for us you know the land that God has for us is heaven you know that my father and my father's generation and that is me and my sisters and our, sis our children and our children's generation my sisters and my family we have lots of children so my sister in Rome has four children uh, three girls and a boy and my elder sister has two girls and I have three children two boys and a girl our children will inherit the blessing because we as my sisters and my father we walked with God wholeheartedly if we love God and if we worship God and if we look at God wholeheartedly and worship him and praise him and exalt him and work with him and um, we have a different attitude than the others we and our children our children to come our children and their grandchildren and their children to come will inherit the land that God has promised that is heaven above that all of us will inherit heaven so what amazing God we have and what a promise that he has for his children who love love God wholeheartedly so as God says in his word love the Lord with all your heart with all your strength with all your mind and that is what he wants and he wants us to love our enemies love our neighbors as ourselves love everyone around us as ourselves how can we love others we can show them with giving things to them we can show them love we can pray to them we can be there with them when they're going through difficult time whatever that God has called us to do let us do it wholeheartedly for God's glory I hope that you were blessed today just want to praise God and a worship song and sing one worship song and also let's pray together father we come to the come to you this Sunday beautiful Sunday with Sun falling on our face Lord we thank you for your blessings we thank you for your many blessings thank you Lord that you have been faithful you are a God and you have done marvelous things in our eyes you are faithful Lord we thank you for the promise that you have when we follow you wholeheartedly when we love you with all our heart our mind our soul and our mind Lord that you would bless us and our children and our children to come with the promised land that you have promised for us Lord we thank you pray for anyone who doesn't know you who is just watching me just to see what's happening Lord I pray that you touch and knock at their heart Lord and ask them Lord Jesus ask them to come into their hearts Lord ask them to ask Jesus to come into their hearts and ask Jesus to be the Lord of their life and may be glorified may be honored may be magnified in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus we pray amen God is worthy of all the praise I can't wait to go to church and worship God today I'm, I'm teaching Sunday school so that's what I'm going uh, today and uh, so let's sing this song Jehovah done to me something it's a beautiful song I loved yesterday worshiping uh, that song it was in my heart the whole day and I thought I'm gonna share it with it today with you guys also it's called a marvelous thing and it's called uh, it's sung by Sammy Ocposo and it's so beautiful Jehovah done to me something, oh, it's a marvelous thing, oh, Jehovah done to me something, oh, oh it's a marvelous thing, oh, my life is a testimony, oh, Jehovah done to me something, oh, my life is a testimony, oh, oh, Jehovah done to me something, oh, there's a reason I'm singing, there's a reason I'm dancing, there's a reason I'm singing, there's a reason I'm dancing, I'm counting all my blessings, naming them one by one. God has been so good to me His goodness and mercy every day I see Oh Lord, I am grateful You have been faithful Jehovah done to me something, oh It's a marvelous thing, oh 
Jehovah done to me something, oh, oh, it's a marvelous thing, oh, my life is a testimony, oh, Jehovah done to me something, oh, my life is a testimony, oh, oh, it's a marvelous thing, oh, it's a beautiful Sunday and I pray and I and I bless you and I pray that you will have a beautiful Sunday with your service at church, online or in person. And may God bless you. May you have a song in your heart and worshipping and praise Him because He has done marvelous things and He is faithful to His children. Love you all. God bless you. Have a beautiful Sunday. Bye.